Hey, how's it going guys? Uh, so I wanted to do a quick review on some climbing shoes uh, just because I didn't really see any reviews on YouTube on these specific shoes uh, or just climbing shoes in general and I know if you're like me at all you kind of rely on YouTube reviews to get personal rather than like reading about it on the internet so the one that I actually want to review is uh, probably better like this. So these are La Sportiva's Tarantula bouldering specific shoes. Uh, so I normally do bouldering. Um, I've been climbing for on and off altogether maybe a month and a half. I uh, have been doing it for a couple months, but I don't go as often just because a climbing gym that's in my city is not the closest. It's about a 35 to 40 minute drive, so if I want to boulder, um, I obviously have to drive all the, way, uh, all the way over there. And I know for other boulders and stuff like that, that you're going to tell me go uh, outdoor climbing. So I don't... I don't think I'm good technically enough to outdoor climb just yet. I want to be comfortable at least on a V4 before I even think about it. I've just, from the people that I have met at gyms and uh, people that have the experience, they tell me that it's a lot more difficult. So I just want to have a little bit more technique, um, be more aware of holds, stuff like that, strategize before I even think about the outdoor stuff. So, um, I saw a lot of stuff on the Tarantula Lace, but I started seeing, like, some people, it's 50-50 whether, like, people like the adjustment to your foot with the, with the laces, or just having that for sure always holds type of Velcro. So, with these in specific, guys, uh, they have really good Velcro like extremely good velcro like it's not going anywhere you really have to like put some some grease into it to actually take the velcro off as far as comfort goes so i went with my true to size with la sportiva because they they that's just what their website said i know you'll see a lot of videos you'll hear from a lot of people to get a size smaller i was a beginner uh, i'm not used to wearing these things on a daily basis so for me i wanted um, pretty much a happy median so where it is tight but not super uncomfortable i as soon as i put these on in the gym i don't take them off um, unless i'm just like resting a really long time or i think i'm going to be walking a lot just so it doesn't lose sh its shape the rubber on it is amazing like it's, I don't know how to describe it. The only thing I've ever worn were uh, Renal, uh, Butora Renal shoes, which from all the gyms that I've gone to, they all seem to use the same uh, brand for the Renal shoes, which is Butora. I've just had like different variations of the Renal shoes. I'm assuming it's based off of like how much the gym wants to pay or what's the available styles at the time that they open the gym. Um, they're amazing. I immediately felt a difference in my climbing, uh, just automatically from going to rental shoes to these. Uh, I chose these because they're, they're not crazy expensive, but I also didn't want to be unhappy with what I purchased. So I decided to go with like, uh, somewhere in, in like the, the hundred dollar range of shoes. For my first pair just because i didn't want to be unhappy with it because i i know you've probably purchased something in the past where you're kind of like cheap out on it and you're like i should have just probably spent the extra 30 bucks for the the better ones you know so that's what i did with these uh i saw the tarantulas i saw the regular tarantulas and then i saw these these are the most expensive of the tarantula um shoe from la sportiva and I don't regret purchasing them. 
I am military, so I did manage to get them discounted. But even then, it I was planning on spending uh, a lot more than I actually paid for these. So overall, I'm really happy with them. Uh, I've worn them maybe let's say a good ten sessions so far. Just I didn't want to do a review on them like brand new, just because. Again, I wasn't a technical climber. Right now, I'm a B4 climber. Uh, highest I've ever climbed is a B5, but I've only done one, so I don't really consider myself a B5 climber. B4, that's where I'm at. Uh, for the amount of time that I've been climbing, I think that's very well. Uh, I could do uh, sloper climbs, crimp climbs, obviously jugs, because everybody could do those. Uh, ledge climbing, I just, I've been able to do every type of climb with these shoes. The heel is amazing as well for your heel hooks. I don't know if you guys could tell, but it's like, it protrudes a little and it's just, it grips. It grips so good. Uh, as soon as I wore these, I just immediately trusted them and I felt a lot more secured in my climbs. Like, I wasn't insecure about putting my foot somewhere that I would slip. Uh, the toe itself, so like for your tinier, smaller footholds that you kind of have to like dig in and like position your foot in a very like sure way, like digging in, um, they do a good job. Uh, I don't think they're the best, but again, this is like according to their website on La Sportiva, is uh, it's a beginner to intermediate shoe. So that's also one of the reasons I purchased them because once I started getting into like intermediate climbing, um, I wanted something that uh, it wouldn't not grow me too fast being in the sport. And then I'm falling like I've fallen in love with climbing. Like it's gonna be like a thing for me now. Uh, it's crazy because I used to do bodybuilding and doing this now. It's just really different. It's it's crazy because I've put on a lot of weight and it. it it's definitely not the best for like bouldering or rock climbing, but I do have the strength for it, so it helps. Uh, as far as the edge of it, um, let me see if I could kind of show you guys. So it's not the pointiest, but it'll get the job done. Uh, I'm not telling you you could probably use these for like a V7 and plus and like be comfortable with it but you could definitely use it for anything else that doesn't involve like really small footholds. Um, I'm already looking into shoes just for those specific type of climbs, but I feel like I would definitely purchase these again once they start wearing a little bit more out. But they're, they're amazing. It's really soft rubber, but it's durable. Uh, it has a lot of rubber on the top here for your um, like foot hooks and stuff like that. So it, it, it just, at the end of the day, guys, I, I really highly recommend this. I just, I was just kind of really saddened by the fact that there wasn't any reviews on it uh, just because they're such a new shoe. I don't know exactly when they came out, but I know it's, they're fairly recent. Um, they're really comfortable. I would say get true to size or half the size smaller. Uh, if I buy those again, I'm definitely going to go half a size smaller just because my foot's kind of just used to it now. And sometimes I feel like th there's some room for improvement, um, especially if you're going to do it barefoot. Uh, barefoot, true to size, uh, it, it, it fits how it should. It's, it's tight, but it's not uncomfortably tight. If you want to be more technical on it, then yeah, like if you want to use those as like a daily driver kind of shoe, uh, definitely get a half size smaller, especially if you're already like a somewhat experienced climber, it'll definitely benefit you. Um, that's my plan. As soon as those go, uh, next pair, which again, I really enjoyed those, I would definitely buy those again. And then just have like a little just purchasing a separate pair for like the more complex types of climbing where I need that that little pointy shoe um, or like a what's called a stiffer toe so these are kind of like in between so it's not soft but it's not hard 
it's um like i said these are just a happy median type of shoe it'll get the job done for your daily climbs if you're a competition climber uh you probably already know what to buy but i would not recommend it for like competition style um the rubber is great it's la sportiva um they they've been making shoes forever um it's just like scarpa you know like they they uh they're, they're the godfathers as far as like rock climbing shoes go. Again, I'm really new to this sport. I've, I've been learning as much as I can uh, through these past couple of months. Um, but I did want to leave a review for you guys just this far as if you're looking into them, I recommend them above like the, regu the regular tarantulas and the tarantulas. Again, everybody has their preference. Uh, but as my first shoe, as a beginner climber, it is by far the most awesome um, purchase I could have made as far as the shoe goes. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions um, or concerns, or if you guys want, to make, want me to make a video on it more like at the gym, for example, let me know. Uh, again, I am not the most experienced climber. Uh, I do feel like I'm learning pretty quickly and uh, I hope to get better. Hopefully like my body weight isn't an issue going into like the harder style climbs um, above U5 for me. I eventually like want to be a V7 climber. I don't know how long that's going to take, but uh, I'm just being patient, enjoying the process enjoying the climbs, having my little projects here and there, and um, yeah, you guys have fun climbing, and then um, reach out to me if you have any questions. Thanks.